G'day everyone. Today I want to show you a really simple art project that can help us understand how our brains process information. So let's check out what we need. We're going to be creating some spinning pictures. To do that we need two bits of cardboard and two bits of paper that are cut to the same size. I've got 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter squares here. You'll also need some tape and some string. You want at least a meter of string, a bit more probably will make the effect last a bit longer, but go for a meter to start with. And we need some art supplies, pens, textures, crayons, whatever you've got that you can draw your pictures with. To create this effect, you want to think about the final image you're after and then split it into two. Some interesting ones I've seen are things like a fish and a fish bowl or a dog in a dog kennel, something like that. It's entirely up to you, but you need to split your final picture across the two pages. So let's do some art. Now that I've got my two pictures drawn, I've got a little bug on this one. It's going to be flying across to check out the flower on this one. We need to stick those to our pieces of cardboard using some tape. Next up, we need to decide which one we want to attach the string to. It really doesn't matter here, just choose one of your pieces of cardboard. Then grab your piece of string. You want to get the two ends and tie them together so you've got one big loop. Then you want to find the middle, and that is what we're going to stick to the back of our cardboard. You want a little bit of distance between the two strings, about a centimetre or so. And don't be stingy on the tape here. You want to make sure it's stuck down really well so it doesn't come apart when we're twisting it up. Finally, we're going to attach our two bits of cardboard together. Now you want to remember that one of them needs to be upside down. So if this one's facing up on the back, I need my picture to be facing down. If you have them both up the same way, the effect's not going to work. So just make sure, one the right way up, one facing down. Now we have everything we need to create this effect. To see the effect in action, we now need to twist up our string. The trick to doing this is to hold the end of the string in your little finger on each hand. Then use the rest of your hand to twist around the picture, twisting up the string as much as you can. Remember, we don't want to twist it so far that it pulls off the back of the cardboard, but the more twist you have in there, the longer the effect will last. Once you've twisted up as much as you can, your string's really well twisted up, hold it with one hand. The trick here is to let go and as fast as you can move your hands apart out to the end of the string and watch it spin. And you should see your two pictures coming together to form one. Let's have a close up look. Let's talk about what's happening here. We know that this is two separate images, yet our brain's telling us that it's one. This is to do with how our brain processes and retains information. When we see something, our brain holds onto it for about half a second. This is called iconic memory or visual sensory memory. Because we're seeing these pictures so rapidly, our brain's holding onto both of them at the same time, telling us that it's one image. Another example of this is with your ears. When you hear something, your brain holds onto it for up to a few seconds. This is called echoic memory or auditory sensory memory. An example that you may have experienced is when you're having a conversation with someone and you think you've missed something that they've said. You ask them to repeat themselves, but before they do, you remember what it was and the conversation continues. I hope you've had a bit of fun today playing around with some art and some science and learning a little bit more about how your brain gathers and processes information. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Thank you. 